All right, so this is one of the last videos that I'm going to be making before I head out to Israel, but I thought this was important to talk about as Dallas did a live stream last week kind of updating us on a bunch of different things, including the legal situation with Angel Studios and everything that's happening over there. Obviously, it's been a storm over the last week and a half, two weeks, uh, since we've been going over all of this information that Dallas has given us and the understanding that the Chosen team is in a legal situation which prevents them from putting out the Chosen Season 4 in streaming platforms, at least for now. There's a couple different ways that you can watch the chosen season four right now or at least a little bit quicker maybe than the streaming service um although it doesn't really seem like it overall i'm going to go over all of what dallas talked about in this live stream answer some of the questions that people have asked during that live stream and then we're going to go over just basically understanding what is going to happen in the future for season four five six and seven as we move forward with the chosen so first things first dallas made it very clear that he was not going to talk about the legal issues of course he can't when you're part of a a lawsuit or a legal issue in, in some form you can't really talk about any of the details that go into that because you'll lose leverage on certain things or you may have broken a piece of a contract that you signed or an nda or different things that are going on within that system so obviously he stayed away from all of that which is probably the smartest thing to do however he did give us some hints as to when we can expect season four and it's not the greatest news but it's not the worst news either he was very kind of you know vague in the time frame in which we can expect it because he doesn't actually know himself right as we know from our previous videos angel studios and the chosen are in arbitration right now which means that the two different sides have come together agreeing to meet and they are going to talk about the different issues and try to figure it out by themselves if they cannot do this then they will go to court after that and a lawsuit will kind of take place and all this different stuff will happen right um, and so hopefully they can figure out their issues but it doesn't seem like it's happened yet and so i'm sure there's teams that are continuing to meet and trying to figure out what is actually going to be happening here um, hopefully soon dallas did say this isn't something that should take six months but he also didn't say it's going to happen next week and he said you have to be patient because it's going to take a while so my assumption is that this is going to take more than a month would be my guess uh, but we'll we're gonna we're gonna see what's happening here somewhere between a month and six months we're gonna get the chosen season four now if it does happen to take you know three four five six months that's gonna be after season five is already filmed which is another thing that he talked about during this live stream as well not only did he talk about season four answering some questions about that but also he went a little bit into season five and talking about what is upcoming in terms of filming in terms of scenes that we can expect in terms of actors coming back as well um, and different things going on with that which is really interesting to see but before we get to season five and talking about holy week let's talk about season four and how you can watch it right now so if you are a church or a ministry and you want to do a public viewing of the chosen season four you can actually watch the first four episodes right now you can go to come and see.net and then you can actually sign up for some different uh you know websites over there that allow you to watch the chosen episode one two three four of season four so those are available right now the the uh, third and fourth episodes just released today on those platforms and so you can go over there and watch those in a public setting uh, with a church or a ministry and you can do that anytime another way is to actually purchase or pre-purchase uh, your dvd set for the chosen season four now of course a lot of us don't really have dvd players but a lot of you i know are interested in buying the dvds and having physical copies of the show so that you never lose it from a streaming service or anything else um, and so those are available for basically pre-ordering on the website if you go over to the chosen uh, you can go buy that over there so that's another way but dallas did say that he wouldn't really release the dvds until the streaming was available anyway um, and so that's not going to be until later on whenever the streaming whole thing is figured out anyway and then lastly what you could do to watch the chosen very soon is actually going to the theaters march 28th 29th and 30th um, basically back to back to back you you can go to the theaters three days in a row in order to binge the entire season three episodes three episodes and then two episodes leading into easter and uh, this would be a great way to watch it for sure if you can afford you know the nine ten hours of being in the theater <laughs> um, it's a lot of time uh, but it is at a pretty good price most theaters are doing this for thirty dollars to see all three showings um, some other places are doing different discounts including fandango which is doing like a 50 percent discount if you use the code i think it's chosen 
Season 4, something like that. The Chosen Season 4, I think is what it is. So if you're on Fandango and you want to get that ticket there, you can. Um, at this time, we'll actually be traveling to Israel, which is a good time for me to mention. Hey, if you want to go to Israel with us or if you want to see the behind the scenes of our trip to Israel, um, we're going to be doing a ton of stuff over there starting in just a little bit. Me and Vanessa are actually going there by ourselves for the first time without a guide, and we're going to be showing you all of the amazing biblical locations, including a lot of the locations that you see in The Chosen that may be a little bit different in real life than they are in the show. So we're going to be talking about a lot of that different stuff over there. Of course, we'll have some videos on this channel, but the majority of our Israel videos are going to be over on The Snipe Life. If you want to go check that out, we're going to have a ton of stuff coming out very soon, and we'd love to have you guys over there. If you want to check out behind the scenes stuff that we do in Israel specifically, and you want to support this channel and our main channel, The Snipe Life, then the best way to do that is by going to snipesupport.com, and this will help us to basically continue doing what we're doing. This is a Patreon where we put behind the scenes content, pictures, videos, and a bunch of different stuff over there in order for our family to see that uh, behind the scenes. So anyway, let's get back to Dallas's live stream and talk about the rest of this here. So moving into season five, we got a couple really key things from this live stream that Dallas revealed to us. One is that filming, they're going to do 70 days of filming. He wants to get it down to 69 days because that'll save them some money and their producers are really trying to tighten up the schedule to make it as short as possible so that they're not spending as much money. Remember, every single day of shooting costs hundreds of thousands of dollars for equipment, personnel, locations, everything, right? There's a ton of stuff that's happening uh, on these sets all the time. And so there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of money being uh, put through it. So that's a really big deal. 60 days, 69 days of filming is much less than season three um, and even less than season four. And so they're kind of tightening up that time frame. And in season five, we know that this is going to be Holy Week in which it's the last week of Jesus's life, which means that the majority of it, in fact, basically 90% of what I'm expecting to be season five will be in Jerusalem, meaning that there's not going to be, um, you know, all these extra scenes all over the, the nation of Israel, right? It's just going to be in Jerusalem for the most part. And I'm sure we'll get kind of cutaways to either, uh, you know, kind of, flashbacks again to the past or the old testament or maybe back to capernaum with gaius and stuff like that but i'm not expecting too much of that if any at all um, for season five i'm expecting that they'll do most of the indoor scenes back in their capernaum set in texas and then they'll do all the outdoor scenes and the big jerusalem scenes in utah uh, where they've done most of their stuff previously uh, for all the jerusalem scenes obviously now again we've talked about this for the last couple of years at least but dallas reiterated again what the future of the chosen is going to be like so season five is going to be the Holy Week, the last week of Jesus' life. Season six is going to be the crucifixion. And season seven is going to be the resurrection. So keep in mind, as we're moving forward in the future, season five, I'm, I'm sure, is going to be very much like we're seeing season four. We're going to see the release in theaters, and then it'll come to the app later. Season six is going to be unique in the fact that they're going to actually add a full feature-length movie within that season. I don't know if that means that they're going to take away some episodes from the season and make it a movie movie instead or if it's a movie on top of those episodes we haven't gotten clarity on that quite yet but both season six and season seven will actually have full feature length movies within those seasons which is going to be really really amazing to see while dallas was answering questions someone actually asked about season six and thinking about the ending of it is it going to be this depressing sort of sad ending and of course it's going to be the chosen in in its entirety is is kind of a a graph that goes like this right it's going to go down 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 darker 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 and then the very end you're going to have that big spike of hope, right? That's how the scriptures go. That's how the gospels go. As things are getting darker and darker and darker, harder and harder and harder, Jesus gets betrayed. There's all this stuff that happens. He's really frustrated and he's he's seeing that the people are not getting it, right? Um, and then at the very end, there's the resurrection and, and the healing and the, the rejoicing and the glory that comes uh, all throughout that. And so there's a huge, uh, you know, disparation there between season six and season seven Season seven, I'm sure, is going to start off a bit dark, but then by the end of it, there's going to be so much joy and passion and moving forward into the beginning of the church, which is going to be so cool to see. Now, of course, we'll go over the Holy Week in its entirety as we get into season five, and especially during the filming. I'll probably do a video dedicated to what we can expect to see in season five, but one of the things that Dallas did mention is talking about the flipping of the tables, which happens in the temple, the cleansing of the temple during Holy Week. This is obviously a very big moment because Jesus 
Jesus is cleansing the actual holy temple that's in Jerusalem, and he's protecting his father's house, right? Uh, he yells at the money changers there because, well, they're being unfair in how they're doing things, and they're acting as if they're thieves or robbers instead of men of God who are working for the temple. So we'll explain all of that later on, and there's a lot more to come in Holy Week altogether, but that is something that Dallas pointed out in this live stream here. Now, before I get to the last thing, which I promise you don't want to miss, of course, Dallas did this live stream on his personal channel, so the Dallas Jenkins channel on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to go check out the whole thing, it's about an hour long. But the last thing that I thought was really important that he shared with us was actually the timing of Chosen Con this year. They are going to do another Chosen Con, and while I thought originally they might split it up into like multiple different locations. It looks like they're just going to go way bigger this year. I'm really hoping that me and Vanessa are invited to come and speak again and to do some different interviews or different things there. It'd be a ton of fun. Uh, but regardless, we'll try to be there uh, to the best of our abilities. And I, I heard it's going to be on the East coast and it's going to be a lot bigger. So hopefully we'll have a lot more room to do different things and a lot more people to meet. Uh, last time was big, but this is supposed to be way bigger. So we'll see what happens and hopefully they don't sell out within a couple of hours of opening the tickets this time. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know it's kind of disappointing that we don't have any big updates yet, but hopefully those will come soon and hopefully I'll be able to do my deep dives very soon as well. Anyway, be praying for my trip to Israel and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.